Hello, Jackie. Can you introduce Hi, yourself? Hi, Susie. I'm Jackie. Um, I wanted to do it in person. I've been looking after my own divorce. I'm still running that show at the moment, and it is a show. It feels like a show. And you've asked me to tell you how it is. Um, the only thing I can say really is it's um, been quite a journey. Um, I never thought I would be in a position to have done it uh, and still be doing it. Mine's a very long process. Um, Do you have ever imagined yourself doing something like this? I could never have imagined it. And my life has always been spent in design. Um, I'm a creative person, um, over emotional, um, driven by my heart, uh, totally in love with all things pretty. Um, to actually make yourself sit down and apply yourself in a sensible, rational and focused way has been um, extremely hard work <laughs> for someone who doesn't actually understand why things have to be a certain way. The law um, has proved to be quite um, something else really for me. It's, uh, so how's this changed you as a person, this whole experience of representing yourself through your own divorce and having to go into court and up against barristers? It's, it's, it has a, it's a very funny effect. It has this... Um, First of all, it has an effect of terrifying you. You, you feel totally out of your depth, um, very pressured. Um, if the divorce is unpleasant, and most divorces aren't particularly nice, I think we can agree on that, is actually you go in there feeling very much um, a little bit of a victim, um, a little, or a bit of a superhero because you're representing yourself, but you're so scared because you do not have the same tools at your fingertips that the professionals have. Um, I think there's that feeling of um, being an underdog, which you have to overcome if you're going to actually succeed. Um, you've also got the pressure from the other side if they have lawyers. Um, the lawyers will most certainly make you feel like underdogs. And there's always that fear that you will appear to the court if that's where you end up actually as someone who's not managing herself very well. And, and if you are an emotionally driven person or someone who's very um, focused on how they feel rather than how they think. It's up very hard to get across to um, to the court that actually you're a completely changed person and now you're not going to scream and shout or um, rant, you're actually going to put a case in a very logical and professional way and that's um, quite a feat and actually it's been my biggest achievement. It's actually I can put pen to paper, I can open my mouth, I can say sensible things in an orderly fashion uh, without inciting a riot, basically. <laughs> so you've learned new skills that you just didn't Taking have before. new skills for me. Um, the law is a, is a fairly precise science. There are interpretations, obviously. Um, but it's actually the understanding that you have to apply yourself to a process. There is a timetable. There are things that you have to do, things you have to comply with. Um, you can't say, no, I just don't want to do that bit. Unfortunately, you have to do it all, and if you, if you feel like you've got the stomach to do it, then I would recommend it. It's a very empowering process. So, what have you has happened to you emotionally over these last? Uh, well, how long has it been so far? And I know you're still right in the in, in the thick of it, really. Um, the litigation part of this has now taken fourteen months. Um, it's been a sort of a one step forward, two steps back, uh, a little bit of a run, then a complete standstill. It's just the nature of the beast. Um, I, I'm in a, in a situation where I'm finding the other side can be quite obstructive. Um, you have to manage that um, without getting angry, unfortunately. Um, there are times when you want to blow a gasket, but of course you can't. Um, it's very important to remember that everything that you write and say um, can be held up in a court and, and it doesn't always do you um, a service if you seem to be a bit of a mad woman on the quiet, you have to try and keep a rational head on your shoulders. Um, it can be hard, it can be hard. I think emotionally, it's been very good for me. It's, it's taught me how to disengage myself from a job. Um, and it's been, I don't know, what's the word really? It's been, it's been quite something when you've run your life with your heart um, and how you feel about everything and how you view everything to suddenly realise you've actually got to apply rules to how you behave, how you write, how you address problems, how you focus on things. And also always bear in mind that actually your agenda is the agenda that matters and you're not actually there to service the other side's agenda, you, not to worry what other people think about you. 
not to worry whether they like you or whether they have any respect for you. Um, you're not there for that. But it's when you're not in that situation, when you're not a lawyer and you're not the judge, you're not part of that system, it's very hard to imagine that you could be judged by anything than other who you are, who you are standing there. You're not judged by who you are, you're judged by actually what you do, what you produce and how you manage your case. And the fact that you're reasonable, you're rational and you're calm if you can manage it. That's the hardest bit. So what has been, I know you're still in the process and it's, you're not out the other side yet, mm. but what do you think have you gained the most from this whole process so far in your, in your own personal life? Funnily enough, actually, although it's quite mad to be in litigation for 14 months, it's actually given me um, sanity, um, which I really can't have imagined. I've always been slightly insane. I think all designers have that element in them. I think the thing this has given me is um, an understanding that I've got far more in me um, and, and, and abilities. You know, I, I've, I've uncovered things about myself. I've learned so much about myself that I would never have thought was possible. Um, you know, someone um, of my European um, extraction can throw things in a second, um, pots and pans, and, and can throw temper. To find that you have to control every single thing that you do and you say is quite a lesson. It's um, it's taught me an awful lot. And I think the most important thing I've learned, uh, which goes against the grain, is patience. I think. Patience and also an understanding that there are two sides to everything. And once you've got that perspective, I think you understand the other side um, and you understand their perspective. Not that you have to pay attention to it if you don't want to, but it's, if you know you're looking at it all the way round, um, then you can apply yourself to it properly.